The problems that we work on are huge and uh, complex and long-term, and many people are overwhelmed by them. At Human Rights First, we're focused on getting results. It's not enough to make a point. We want to make a difference. It feels like you have a, um, a sort of incurable disease that just nobody wants to, to let you in. In our refugee program, for example, we see real change for people on the ground who have fled unimaginable violence and persecution. And we put them on the track towards starting a new life. After September 11th, the, um, the difficulties of getting into the United States, particularly if you're an Arab, are much, much higher. My, my family are all now refugees. They're all living in refugee camps. Um, throughout uh, the Middle East. Well, our work on refugee protection is really a good illustration of uh, how Human Rights First goes where its expertise is most needed and can have the greatest impact. They have worked very aggressively in Congress to get legislation passed, and uh, all legislation is passed by alliances, by coalitions. I think the protection of human rights begins at home whether it be uh, the right to a fair hearing, whether it be Guantanamo and uh, how we uh, treat prisoners of war. One of the most powerful initiatives that we launched was the creation of this coalition of retired generals and admirals, two groups that you would never expect to be working together, human rights advocates and uh, military officers. Friends from the military retired officers asked me to hear what Human Rights First was doing to publicize the importance of our country having a very clear and unequivocal policy against torture. Well our group of retired generals and admirals felt enormous frustration but individually we had no training or experience on how to speak out effectively. So Human Rights First very much enabled us to speak out about the military shock. Because we're so focused on change, we don't tend to think about it as strange bedfellows or unlikely allies. We look for effective alliances. And so we don't waste a lot of time preaching to the choir. I mean, we've just seen it uh, in the Middle East, how powerful social media has been in helping people to communicate with each other, to organize, spread information. There is, at the same time, a dark side to that technology. Uh, governments certainly have been very adept at using it to crack down on dissent. A number of companies, Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, for example, have joined together with us to protect free expression. And the organization uh, that we formed called the Global Network Initiative, it will become the place where the rules of the road are written uh, for uh, free internet. Very often you'll find that Human Rights First is most effective below the radar screen, out of the public eye, working diligently and quietly to advance the agenda of human rights. The United States is going to continue to lead the world on human rights, whether it's to a higher place or over a cliff. And our job is to make sure that it leads the world to a higher place. Organizations like Human Rights First constitute our collective moral memory. They're willing to speak out on matters of principle, and they're willing to speak out very, very clearly. I think Human Rights First record speaks for itself. I think that the achievements we have made the alliances we have formed is a tribute to our blueprint, our strategy, and the way we go about achieving success.